You know, I wanted to ask you about this ma this L magazine photo right. shoot that you right. did. <laughs> this is uh, this is really something because you're modeling all these different dresses, and obviously you're very beautiful in the whole photo shoot. And then there's this one dress <laughs> right here, and I'm wondering, is this a dress? This is obviously a dress that somebody made that you're really <laughs> supposed to be able to buy and wear. No, it's actually from it's from the like couture show. So. I know they really make it, it's but like this the is one <laughs> it's, yes, I, it's called the one. It's called the, the unibooby. Yeah, this is the and the, and the idea the of this dress is that it just goes up once. I in mean, it's the not. Show, I saw the show, and in the show, it was a Dior show. They really only had one booby covered, and like nice What's boobies the... bouncing along down the runway. When are they showing this again? I was uh, like, Roy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the woman covering herself up when she walked in it on the runway? No. Beautiful bouncing booby. Yeah. <laughs> There are a lot of things you could not do were you wearing that dress. You know what I mean? You're not tossing a pizza while you make that. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You know? I think you should wear it tomorrow on your Patty show. cake out of the question. There's a lot of things you... A typist couldn't wear it? No. But was it in that photo shoot, you're getting to wear a lot of different clothes. You obviously right. like doing that. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun, yeah. It's one of the perks of what I get to do. Yeah. Well, it would be a lot, I would think. And you, you were just here two weeks ago, not... I came when... Um, my fiance played in Space Hog. Your fiance is, of course, is in a Space singer Hog. in Space Hog, and uh, you guys, uh, he was here, and, uh, and we I we did a little watch. thing. Yeah, it's Roy, Roy right. Langdon, and um, he was here, and you didn't come out on camera. You were <laughs> backstage, but it inspired eating sandwiches. us. Sandwiches. You were eating free nice sandwiches. sandwiches you have in your dressing room. <laughs> Those are not for you. <laughs> Those are for the people performing on the show. <laughs> I noticed, I checked at the end of the night, and it was, we were one sandwich short. I had a hissy fit. Uh, but I was, we, were, we do a thing on the show called If They Made It, where we take right. famous people and we see what their child would look baby, like yeah. Yeah, if they ever oh, had God. a child. And so we thought, well, since he's pretty well known and you're well known, we would see right now what would happen. You know, yeah, sure. well, let's take a look right now. This is you, of course, and this is Roy from Space Hog. Yeah, we tried to find that photo. It's from his DMV card. <laughs> And uh, let's take a look at what would happen if you two had a baby. I'm just curious. And what? Oh, my God. That's not funny. That's Who horrible. Those? What? We, just, we always just add some <laughs> hillbilly teeth. That's the secret of that bit. It's not fair at all. We take some from you, some from him, and then we just add hillbilly teeth every time. <laughs> it's the comedy formula that we use here. Um, your movie comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow, go see it. It's really funny. It is a funny movie, and they they shot you beautifully in this film. It's very stylized, the look of it. They used a lot of old Hollywood tricks, actually. Like you know, they put actual pantyhose over the lens, and they put a beam of light across your eyes, like the classic kind of noir lighting and stuff. So because that was you're, very yeah, fun. Because yeah, it's do. it's extremely stylized, but it really pops. It's like yeah. it really catches your yeah. eye, yeah. and you look you look amazing Thank in this you. in this Ooh. picture. I was your, I was curious, like, do you get like tomorrow this movie's gonna come out and there'll be reviews. Are you are you used to that process now? It like, is what was, you started so young. What's it like when you start reading about it's yourself? Hard. I haven't had a movie out for a couple of years because I've been working on The Lord of the Rings in New Zealand, but forever. But mm -hmm. um, I've kind of forgotten what that process was like. So I, it's hard. I mean, you know, it's kind of funny too. I kind of I try and think about it as. It's also entertainment, you know what I mean? Like the reviewer is trying to entertain the people that are reading the, you know what I mean? Right. Maybe that makes me feel better about myself. Well, no, I'm sure they've said really nice. They never said any mean thing about you. I Sometimes mean. the one thing that I can remember, which I was like only 18 and it broke my heart, it was for stealing beauty and the guy said that I looked like a horse eating out of a trough. <laughs> and I called my dad. Let's find that guy now and, and beat him. And I was totally Let's have Scott beat him with a bat. That's it. <laughs> That's terrible. People shouldn't do that. That's not right. But I called my dad, and I was totally depressed. And he's like, honey, it's OK, because we are horse people. What, your dad said <laughs> what? Honey, it's OK, because we are horse people. <laughs> Always good to talk to dad. Yeah. <laughs> He'll make you feel better. Then he went, <laughs> um, <laughs> That was quite good. It was a little too good. Uh, no, that's, I mean, I, obviously, I went through that when I first got this job. Believe it or not, what do they, say about they said you? some mean things. <laughs> they implied I had a fat head. <laughs> Madness! Look at this thing. His no, head's th really not as big in person, though. <laughs> I don't know if we have any more time in this interview. <laughs> They're running very, uh... You're very 
tall and handsome. Well, thank you. We're yeah. going to take that clip, and I'm going to just run that and promote the show <laughs> over and over and over again. Now, you mentioned really quickly the, the Lord of the Rings. Right. You're shooting three of these at we the same... We did already. We're finished now. You're done, and, but you had to shoot all three of these at the same time. Yes, yeah, very intense, but wonderful at the same time. It was kind of really smart to do all three at once, to keep the momentum and to let all the actors really stay in character and explore everything, and yeah. Did, uh, what, what, what part are you playing? I'm an elf, an elven princess named Arwen. You are very tall to be an elf, aren't you? El I mean, elves are actually, this totally, everybody's confused. Elves in Tolkien's world are incredibly tall and slender, and they're kind of like alien looking a little bit. They're very otherworldly. Elves are tall and in, in it's huge. In like, I was a short elf, and I'm 5'10. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. And giants in, in Tolkien's world are little people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> run around trying to terrorize people. Did, and you had to learn an elf language for that, didn't you? Speak elvish, yeah. El, it's called elvish? El elvish, baby. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant elvish, you know. Elvish, yeah. What, what does it sound, what, is, what does elf language sound you know, like? It's actually it? really funny, I can't even remember my name sometimes, but I never forget my elvish lines, which is mm -hmm. really bizarre. Can I just hear a little bit of uh, elf? I might like, get into big trouble for doing this. Why, because it's like uh, ruining it's the movie? Just I mean, a little taste of it. I'd like to hear what the elves sound okay, like in this um, movie. Uh, I, one line is, um, Lauhirnin udalaniriu, anirach nuilu guanad unguaitlin. That's. That sounds kind of cool. I like wake up in the middle of the night speaking Elvish for some reason. <laughs> in the middle of the night, you do that? It's cool. It sounds kind of Gaelic, actually. Yes. Yeah. 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 No, it actually has. It's, 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 it's very beautiful. Uh, one night at McCool's. Uh, which is, I really recommend this film. You should go out and see it. It was, it was a lot of fun. It opens tomorrow night. Yeah. And congratulations on that. Thank you very much. And come on back. Thank you. Yeah, we love having you here. Thanks a lot for doing it. Liv Tyler, everybody.